Hello friends, welcome to TechQuest channel. This is for the medical tech by your tech. In this video, we are going to discuss about the platelet count. The platelet count is used to assess the ability of the bone marrow to produce platelets and to identify the destructions or loss of platelets in the circulation. It is also used to evaluate the untoward effect of chemotherapy or radiation treatment. Usually the platelet count is done in automated instruments nowadays. The earlier method was the platelet diluting fluid and using new bar counting chamber. Now after the instrument results, if the results are very low or high, it's better to, to double check the results using the second method. That's a simple method just to confirm the instrument results are correct because low platelet count is an important panic result. There are many conditions that we will get low platelet count and in some cases it is a stat test and the results should be informed to the patient's ward as panic result. First we will see the decreased production of platelets in the bone marrow. There are many reasons a person bone marrow may not create enough platelets in aplastic anemia, certain vitamin deficiencies such as vitamin B12, folate and iron, viral infections including HIV, Epstein-Barr virus, mumps, rubella, chickenpox and dengue hemorrhagic fever. Exposure to chemotherapy, radiation or toxic chemicals. Consuming too much of alcohol also decreases the production of platelets in the bone marrow, cirrhosis, certain types of cancers like leukemia and lymphoma, myelodysplasia and some genetic conditions such as May Hugling and Viscott Aldrich syndromes. Platelets usually live around 7 to 10 days in the circulation. A low platelet count can be a result of body destroying too many platelets too quickly. These are the reasons why the platelet counts are low because of body's early destruction. Side effects of certain medications including diuretics, some antibiotics, blood thinners and anti seizure medications and enlarged spleen, autoimmune disorders such as immune thrombocytopenia, lupus or rheumatoid arthritis, pregnancy especially in the final week before the delivery, a bacterial infection in the blood, rare serious conditions such, such as thrombotic, thrombocytopenic purpura, hemolytic uremic syndrome and disseminated intravascular coagulation. Surgery, platelets can be destroyed when passing through machines used by bypass surgery or blood transfusion as well as human made heart valves. Whenever we get a low platelet count and the delta check is failed, that is the same patient previous sample platelet count was normal, we need to check the sample for any clot or fibrin clot. The platelet count may be repeated after mixing the sample if the sample is not mixed properly. If clot or fibrin clot is present, we need to redraw a EDTA sample and the test is repeated as STAT sample. When there is no clot or fibrin clot is found in the sample, we need to make a peripheral smear from the sample and do any Romanowski stain done routinely in the lab. The manual platelet count can be done from the smear is the approximate count. If platelet aggregations are present in the smear, the manual count cannot be done as it will not give accurate results. Patient samples with autoagglutination or cold agglutinin, the RBCs get clumped and the results will not be accurate. Make a smear stained with Romanowski strain and examine under the microscope. First check the periphery of the smear for any fibrin clot or platelet aggregations. If no platelet clumps or aggregation is found, focus the good field between the body and the tail of the smear. Select an area with the RBCs just touching each other. Count the number of platelets using 10x eyepiece and different objectives using 40x, 50x and 100x. If you are counting in the thin field of the periphery of the smear, the count may not be accurate. Same thing if you are selecting a thick field of RBCs, the platelet count may not be accurate. The calculation differs according to the magnification because the size of the field differs 
that makes the platelet number in the field. If you are using 10x eyepiece and 40x dry objective, count minimum 10 fields. Take the average number of platelets present per field. For example, if you are getting 35 platelets using 10x eyepiece, eyepiece and 40x objective then the count is multiplied by 5000 that is the cells per cubic millimeter if it is 35 it is 1,75,000 platelets per cubic millimeter if you are using 10x eyepiece and 50x oil immersion the calculation is number of platelets multiply by 10,000 that is under 500 magnification each platelet is 10,000 for example if you are Counting 18 platelets per field, then the count is 1,80,000 platelets per cubic millimeter. If you are using 10x eyepiece and 100x oil immersion, the calculation is number of platelets multiplied by 15,000. That is, each platelet is 15,000 in 1,000 times magnification. For example, if you are getting 12 platelets, average of 12 platelets in 10 field, then 12 into 15,000 that is 1,80,000 platelets per cubic millimeter. The preferred magnification is using 10x eyepiece and 100x oil immersion because the platelets are clearly seen and chances of counting other dust particles are less. At the same time, the size and the morphology of the platelets are seen clearly. Any giant platelets present in the smear should be reported. Jain platelets can indicate bernard Solier syndrome. bernard Solier syndrome is a very rare blood clotting disorder. It is hereditary and is characterized by unusually large platelets and low platelet count. Although it's rare, bernard Solier syndrome is the most likely cause of Jain platelet disorder. The other conditions that can be indicated by Jain platelets include gray platelet syndrome and may Huglin anomaly. Gray platelet syndrome causes Jain platelets which are characterized by a gray color. May Huglin anomaly is characterized by a recessive gene causing Jain platelets. All Jain platelet disorders are usually mostly asymptomatic but can cause excessive bleeding and brushing. This method is not an accurate method. It can be used only to recheck the primary accurate method that is manual counting or instrument counting method. This result should not be reported directly as platelet count. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.